YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with a way too early mock draft. Presumably thought that Sam Howe is the Washington Commanders quarterback one headed into 2023. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure I go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington Commanders. On the road to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So we're doing a way too early mock draft today, and as I said, we're going in with the presumably thought that Sam Howe is the quarterback one. So no, you will not see any trade-up scenarios in this video. You will not see any um, quarterback selection in this video because we're going in with the thought that Sam Howe is quarterback one. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull it up here so you guys can see it along with me. Um, and let's go ahead and tackle this mock draft. Now, again, it's a way too early mock draft. A lot of things can change. I don't know everybody in this in this year's draft class just yet. I haven't done my homework. So we're going again, you know, just off of the based off of what I think Washington needs. Okay, we'll do this again once the senior bowl is over, once combine is over, and I've done my research. Okay. So let's go ahead and start this draft now. We're doing a full seventh round mock draft, like I already mentioned before. And as you can clearly see, um, the Bears don't trade back. Now, um, in real life, I think the Bears end up trading back. I don't think they draft offensive tackle with the number one overall pick. They can get so much for what uh, for that first overall pick because so many teams need a quarterback. Now, again, like I said, don't mind these trade offers because we're not doing it. We're going to reject all of these trade offers um, because we're just going to go straight up with the selection. So as you can see, at Washington is at 16. Um, and their, their needs is, is obviously cornerback, guard, and, and, and tackle, um, for, for in my opinion at least, right? Uh, as you can clearly see down here, the Washington Commanders have other needs that they can tackle. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go corner here. I'm going to go cornerback um, for the Washington Commanders. Quarterback, cornerback, safety, linebacker, and edge is, is all is all um, needs. I'm going to go cornerback, okay? I was on record in, during the season. You can go back and say, I believe Washington is going to select a cornerback uh, in the first round. Um, and then now a lot of other people and a lot of other, other, other analysts and uh, uh, you know team insiders and stuff like that are assuming that Washington would do so. Um, so there's been a, 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 um, a big name in Joey Porter Jr. from Penn State that was like the lead front runner for one of the best, if not the best cornerbacks in, in the nation. Um, and a lot of people have us selecting him at 16. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. OK, I, I watched a little bit of Joey Porter Jr. just because a lot of people think Washington is going to select him and be in position to, to get him. And he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He can do it all. Um. I know we want we need a guy that can permanently play in the slot because Kendall Fuller, yeah, uh, he's not the best, but he's he had a hell of a season, second half to the season, okay? So assuming Kendall Fuller's out there, BSJ's out there on, on the boundary, um, you can get Joey Porter Jr. who can play in the slot, uh, but he can do it all. He can play in the slot. He can play in the boundary. He can go rush the quarterback, you know, on the cornerback blitzes that Jack DeRio likes to call up. Um, he can do it all. So – Again, I, I'm going to take Joey Porter Jr. I'm going to do research on Kali, um, Kali Ringo from Georgia and Trenton Simpson from Clemson, um, or not Trenton Simpson, but Kali Ringo and uh, uh, Richie from Alabama. I'm going to do all my research on the cornerbacks here later, but today I'm going to go ahead and take Joey Porter Jr. Um, so I think that's a really good pick, and I think that's actually a realistic pick for the Washington Commanders to go ahead and take. So Joey Porter Jr., welcome to Washington. Now, let's go ahead and go with the next pick here. Um, obviously, we know we don't have a second round pick, so we got to wait and for uh for it to get to the third round. Um, and then we can, or actually, we don't have a third round pick. Let me, let me take that back. We don't have a third round pick. Remember, at first, we thought Carson Wentz wasn't going to uh wasn't going to miss that much time. Um, and we were going to have to give up the second round pick because of the fact that he didn't play as much we still have our second round pick so i think i'm gonna go ahead and go guard here um again i was a big opponent proponent for saying i wouldn't mind taking a tackle here 
um, because I, I know we need to upgrade the position. I, like I said, I stand on it. I would love to have a tackle. I wouldn't mind being mad if we take a tackle in the first round because you can upgrade from Charles Leno. Is Charles Leno the worst? No. So that's what I. That's why I don't think they're going to do it because I think they're going to play at least one more year with Charles Leno before deciding to get a, a young left tackle because he's not the worst. He's serviceable, and you have other major needs on this offensive line like guard and you know center depth and whatnot. Um, so I think I'm going to just take the best best guard remaining here. Um. Because I want an athletic young guard, okay? I want a young guard that is going to be able to get out in space um, on the screens for the running backs and the receivers, you know, get to the second level on outside runs, actually be out there and not get beat, uh, you know, pass protection pretty solid because I just want – Light on your feet and able to move, okay? I don't want Trey Turner back. I don't want Andrew Norwell back. They cannot move. We need a young guy that can move. So I'm going to go ahead and take the offensive guard from TCU. Now, there's been this this talk about Jared Patterson from um, Notre Dame. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the best best player available, um, and that is uh, the guy from TCU and Steve Avoli. Okay? Now, we don't have a third-round pick, you know, so we'll be, we'll be back on the clock. And uh, in the fourth round, and I think in the fourth round is when I'm going to go ahead and probably look at some linebackers, okay, because I'm going in not only with the thought that we have Sam Howell's QB1, I'm going in with the thought of having um, having uh, Cole Holcomb being re-signed, okay. So you got a third year in, in Jamin Davis who is improving. You got, uh, you got Cole Holcomb. You re-signed him um, back on the contract. So, again, you need linebackers, but you don't need starting linebackers. OK, because, you know, we run two, we run two linebacker sets for the most part. So you just need some depth. And that's what we need. OK, we don't want John Boston. We don't want David Mayo. We don't want um, none of these other guys out there. Milo, uh, um, the, uh, the Harris guy, you know, um, from Arkansas. We don't want none of these guys. We want a, a guy that we can put in on certain positions and uh, in certain predicaments, and the wheels won't fall off. Okay, so at one sixteen, I'm gonna have us taking a linebacker. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the defensive linebackers here and see which one I think would provide the best for us. So you got Sir Sir Buckle Den, uh, Dennis or Sir K Dennis from Pittsburgh. Um, Quick overall thought he, uh, full report below. He's six foot one, two twenty nine. Um, and a full report. Um, if you go over to his uh, his notes and whatnot, you got that he is a guy that um, that that is pretty fast, light on the feet. Okay. Um, he was he's ranked up fifty five tackles and fourteen uh fourteen tackles for loss. Um, and four sacks in his sophomore season. Um, so he had a pretty solid sophomore year. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just select him again. We're going to do more research later and, in, in um, when we get closer to the draft time, but right now we're just going to go ahead and select them. Take the linebacker here. This is, this draft is more solely focused on just the needs and not specifically the player. Um, after the first two rounds, um, I don't really care for this specific draft. Um, because again, it's not about who, what name we're taking in this video. Okay. It's just about, what players uh, or what needs are we filling? All right. So our next pick is going to be at 145, uh, I believe, or one, let's see, 148 rather. Um, and I think here we go ahead and we're going to go ahead and possibly take a, uh, hmm, should we take an edge rusher? Um, we got James Smith Williams, um, who, who I believe will be, um, he'll be back here. Um, Chase Young, Montez Sweat. Um, I wouldn't mind taking an edge rusher here. So let's just go ahead and take an edge. Uh, you, you you can never go wrong with too much edge depth. Um, okay, and I just took in the thought. I haven't even taken in, in consideration that if Deron Payne will be back or not. But I'm just going to, for this thought, I'm going to say he's back because I didn't even draft a D-tackle or anything. So he'll be back. And then now we're in round six. Um so if we go into this thinking Sam Howell's back, Taylor Heineke's back, there's no need to get a quarterback. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pick 180. Let's see what team these they think we should we should we should have left. Okay. Not that I'm really um worried or anything, but we already addressed the, the cornerback, linebacker, and edge. I was thinking safety, so why not? Let's go safety too. Let's go safety. 
Um, let's go Jay Ward from LSU. Again, as you guys can clearly see, I'm not worried about the names. I'm just taking uh, position of need. Okay, at this uh, for this specific draft, I'm going to repeat it because I don't want you guys to let one. He's not that good. We're just taking positions of needs for this specific draft. Okay. And then you get to the seventh round, and I believe Washington will be picking. Let's see. We're coming up here shortly. And I think for this pick, I think we're going to go, hmm, let's see. Where should we go? Should we go tackle just to have some tackle depth? I think so. I think we, I think so. I think we should go tackle, okay, to have some depth here behind Cosme on, and um, and uh, uh, Charles Leno. So let's go ahead and go tackle here. Let's go Javon Foster from Missouri. And those are our picks for this year's draft. Let's see if we have any more. And it does not seem like we do. So that is our draft, okay? Again, this is a video early on in or early on in the off season process. Okay, we're gonna do multiple mock drafts. This was just a mock draft solely based on uh Sam Howell being QB1 and um us addressing team needs, not really the players. After the first two rounds, I didn't care who the players were. This was just addressing team needs. And I honestly feel like I did a pretty good job. We got a cornerback, we got a guard, we got a linebacker, we got an edge, okay? We got a uh, safety and we got a tackle. I think we pretty much addressed all of our needs. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. We took Joey Porter Jr. with the first first round pick, cornerback of the future. Got offensive guard Steve Avoli. You got Sir Vocal, uh, Sir, Ver Sir Ver Dennis. Um, I'll get better at saying his name. You got DeAnthony Jones. You got Jay Ward. You got Javon Foster. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, it's been one one guy. You like, comment, subscribe. Those are the Washington comments. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time. That's going to get you pop. Get you pop. Uh, get you